Hello everybody and welcome to welcome back to the channel. My name is Wayward Parallax and today we are doing something a little bit different than what I usually do. So the main games I've done on my channel so far are Quartz Party and Minecraft and um, Stardew and I've been doing a little bit of Strange Water Culture. I haven't posted that in a while but that's also there. Um, but I was recommended this game by a friend and I figured, you know, why not do a one-off episode and just see how you guys like it. Um, so if you want to see more of this, I'm going to tell you at the end of the episode, but I'm going to tell you now as well. Make sure to like and subscribe so I know that you are interested. Um, but yeah, a friend recommended this to me. So this is Little Witch in the Woods. It's in early access at the moment on Steam. Like, it literally just came out like a couple of days ago. Um... And yeah, my friend said that, you know, it looked like something that I'd be into. So I said, why not? I'll give it a go and, you know, I'll see how it is and I'll record like my first sort of thoughts about about this. So let's um get into it. Oh, that's a cute loading screen. <laughs> that's really adorable. So um, I literally don't know anything about this game. I wonder where the carrot was. You're still thinking about that? We found everything except the carrot. Oh, it's her hat that's talking. That's so cool. I think it's good that we never found the carrot. There was something off about that legendary carrot soup recipe. I just realized we never checked the men's restroom. Yes, there are just some lines you don't cross. We searched the whole school, save for that place, but we never found the carrot. That means the carrot was in the men's restroom. A carrot in the men's restroom. What an odd sense of humour. I should write Jenny a letter asking her to look through the men's restroom. Can't you ask Will instead? It's the men's restroom after all. Nope. That coward finds it, he'll take it to the teacher bawling like before. Keep in mind that if it weren't for Will, you'd be in jail right now. Or six feet under. I'm so bored. It's a flashback. <laughs> That's supposed to be boring. I see why no one else wants to ride this god-awful train. It's boring enough to drive anyone insane. Hey, a ticket for this train costs 500 pies and it's stop the witch's house in High Hy Highland where all roads lead to. Your second place at the school for witches. Whatever, I don't care about any of that. How am I second place anyway? I even sneaked into the food forbidden room twice. Three times. I even looked through the forbidden books in the hidden library in the school basement. I still remember that horned rabbit that was as big as a house. No wonder why Will started crying. <laughs> so how did I manage second place? I simply didn't want to lose. Cut it out and sit quietly. This is a train only for those who want to succeed. The witch's house might be dark and damp, but it's only three years of your life. Fine, fine. Enough with the lecture. As a matter of fact, I'm disturbed with the thought of taking off my shoes when I get off the train. Shoes? For what? I wonder what kind of trouble you'll get into when we arrive. I won't. I won't fool around the moment I get there. I didn't know you had self-awareness. <laughs> Don't you know about the terrible city of rules that is Hylian? The first thing to do is to take your shoes off as soon as you get off the train. This is my first time hearing something like that. I heard that Jenny's older sister was wearing strappy boots when she first arrived at Hylian, so she almost couldn't get off because she had to unstrap them completely. See? Mum bought me new shoes as well. Didn't Arya just mean to encourage you? No, Dad also did say that comfortable boots would be better. That's strange. It's true. I'll also ask other people if you don't believe me. Keyword gained. Lace up boots. 
It's a pain to wear lace-up boots if you're boarding the train to Hylian. Huh. This is cute. I like this. This is really adorable. The food was really delicious, though. Your face was bright only when you were eating after getting on the train. The omelette that was overflowing with cheese and crab meat as soon as it was cut. The pink salmon steak seasoned with fresh lemon scented kiwi sauce. Even the slightly frozen strawberries and peach sorbet with whipped cream. Without this meal, I would have jumped off the train sooner. It's definitely different from the food you buy at the store at the School for Witches. I ate that to collect the Great Witch series cards. I got scolded because I was caught keeping the card and throwing away the bread. <laughs> Don't do that again in Hylian. I'll definitely try the newbie cooler cupcakes there. That's if I get to Hylian before I get bored to death. She's rather, um... She's very cute. I like her hat. I like that it can talk. Hello, Mr. Bartender. Hey, want a drink? No, I don't drink alcohol. Do you have any tea? Of course. Then I'll have a cup of that. The tea has alcohol, though. <laughs> Is that okay? But then that's just alcohol. Alcohol with tea. Potato, potato. Then can I ask you a question instead of a drink? Anytime. Keyword conversations. You can initiate conversations using keywords. Oh, ah. Uh, want some water? Special. Oh, I see. Can I take a look at your shoes? My shoes? What for? From what I've heard, you have to take your shoes off before you step foot into Hylian Station. You work at the train, so you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, that story. Absolutely. Plenty of confused passengers who are all dressed up for Hylian. If you're wearing shoes of that sort, I'd advise you to untie them in advance. O ye who reach of Hylian, look first upon thy shoes. Or, or so that's how the saying goes. See, Virgil, I was right. The preppy boots mum gave me as a present tell me just as much. Those are some nice boots. Right? My mum bought them for me when she found out I was graduating magna... Graduating magna cum laud. Laude? It sure is amazing you're graduating magna cum laude, despite your antics. You gonna keep up with that attitude of yours? Ha ha ha. Hearing the two of you speak, I have a feeling being boredom... I have a feeling being boredom won't be an issue. Nope. It's so boring. Aren't you bored, Mr. Bartender? I've gotten used to it. But it's certainly gotten less boring thanks to you and your hat. You've been listening? Other guests would have heard about your arse on at the school for witches by now. I didn't set it on fire. Really? Uh, sure there was a fire, but... That was because I shook a potion five times and made it explode. Potions must be shaken three times only. Even a non-witch like me knows that. Exactly! How can you not try shaking it four times having heard that? <laughs> but you said you shook it five times. Nothing happened on the fourth time, so I shook it once more. An inquisitive mind. You've already got the makings of a fine witch. Thanks for the praise. I don't think he was praising you. I should be on my way then. Alright, have a fun trip. Can't act like a country bumpkin once you're in the city, got it? You're not going to ask just one person, are you? Why? One is never enough, you know. Even the greatest detectives never reach a conclusion based on a single piece of evidence. Hmm, you have a point. Notes, you can view the keywords you have. So, um, so I gotta talk to all these like different people to see. Okay, and what's this? The truth remains one. Should shoes be taken off when arriving at Hylian? Ask others. She's very cute, and her, her like eyes wobble when she walks. She's so cute. 
Ooh, this is a fancy wolf. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Am I disturbing you? Negative. What's the issue? Oh, I want to ask you about something. You're on the way to Hylian, right? Correct. Um... What's the matter? Oh, it's just that you have a very blunt way of speaking. Oh my, old habits die hard, especially when one is deep in thought. You sound like the janitor from my school. Well, I used to be a soldier. So, what brings you here? Speak. I'd like to ask you about my boots. Before that, what? You've been staring at my feet for a while. Is there some kind of problem? Oh, I was going to ask anyway. Isn't it uncomfortable to wear such strappy boots? It takes some time to put them on and off, but I'm used to it. And it would be hard for you when you arrive at Hylion. What? What are you talking about? I mean, you have to take off your shoes when you get off. What? 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 Huh? Oh, you were kidding. I'm sorry, I'm rather dull when it comes to things like this. Jenny! Mr. Barton! <laughs> the mystery has been solved. Did I make some kind of mistake? No, no. I just realized that I was deceived. Come to think of it, I remember now. It's a joke to make fun of people who visit Hylion for the first time. Stop, you don't have to kill me twice by giving that much detail. I'm sorry. Are you holding back laughter? No, I'm not. He's trying so hard to be considerate of you. Don't ask twice. Virgil, I hate you even more now. You don't need to be too upset. When I went there for the first time in the past, I was also tricked by a colleague and took them off. That doesn't comfort me at all. I'm sorry. How do you feel? Why are you asking me that? Your molars might fall out. Relax a bit and tell me. I can't believe Jenny deceived me. There's a reason why she's your friend. Now go back to your seat quietly and wait until we've arrived. We still have to... We still have three more days to go. Three more days. That's as terrible as the smell of spotted stuck in mushrooms. Oh, let's talk to this guy at least anyway. Up ahead is the engine room. Uh, I've already, like, so I've discovered the uh, shop. Please save any inquiries regarding souvenirs at the station until we exit the train. Up ahead is the engine room. Chit chat. Small talk is forbidden during. Uh -huh. I'm in it. Oh, sorry. I meant to read that, but that's okay. My job is to ensure the passengers' safety and comfort. Up ahead is the engine room. Oh, thank you so much. Roy is. Roy is a good, good wolf. Oh, we got little, little time in the corner as well. Go into your seat and wait until you arrive. Okay. All right, now have some patience and stay seated. Ugh. Yay! First mission done. Easy peasy. I'm bored. But you just sat down. This is torture. Stare out the window if you're so bored. Yeah, look outside. Look at that mountain. It must be hiding a cave with strange pillars, statues, and a giant door. Sounds like the prologue to a story where you awaken a terrible demon. Wait, hold on, Virgil. Shut up and look out the window at the summit of the mountain. There's a gigantic shining tree at the top. A gigantic shining tree! Why is it shining? Does it have luminous flowers? It must be beautiful up close. Give it up. This train won't stop for two days. Ugh. Wanna get out now? I hope we crash. Bad chance of that happening, so just stay bored. After all, you signed up for three years of even more boredom. 
Aren't there any Crocker fans nearby? Nope. What about boa constrictors? This isn't a jungle. Train robbers? This isn't the Wild West. It's a healing game, remember? <laughs> they break in the fourth wall so much. <laughs> Just very casually. Hey, a boa constrictor! The correct line is, what's going on? There's no station here. Why are we stopping? I'm not sure. Maybe there's something wrong with the train. I doubt it's a boa constrictor, though. I don't care if it's not a boa constrictor. Please, just say there's some massively critical issue. Please, please, please. We apologize for the inconvenience. A critical issue, perhaps? The train cannot continue its journey due to a critical issue. Yes! Attention, the train will stop until tomorrow morning and the departure time. Can we go outside? Will likely be announced tomorrow. We will depart immediately if possible. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. In the meantime, please avoid wandering too far from the train. Let's go! I'm not sure if you remember, but... Of course I remember. The shining tree is at the peak. No, not that. We have to get back by tomorrow morning. Then we should get going. Mm. Wow, it's so dark. If you're scared, we can go back to the train. I love it! Let's hurry. I have to open the memo board, which I have. Oh, the hat's shining. This is cool. I like this. This is cute. Sorry, you can't go beyond here. Why did the train stop? There is something in the train's path. We're working on getting rid of whatever's in the way. Something's in our way? Is it a boa constrictor? A boa constrictor? No, no. It's a strange prickly vine. A strange prickly vine. Yes, a prickly vine. It wasn't there yesterday, but it seems to have grown overnight. We can't seem to cut it down with a regular axe, but we're doing our best. We've contacted the witches, so I'm sure they'll be here to help in no time. Can I take a look? I happen to be a witch. You're our passenger. It's our responsibility to make sure you're safe. We'll take care of it, so please be patient. Can I just take a peek? I'm sorry. That's fine. It's whatever. I'm gonna go explore. Ooh, save. Lovely. So I suppose I'm gonna climb up here. It's a hill. It won't be easy to climb. Look over there. There are vines hanging on the hill. I'll be able to climb that much. That's bad news. How do I... Oh, okay. I just need to go in the right spot. It's a secret passageway, Virgil! I don't think it's a secret or a passageway. I bet there's a path beyond here. Just go on for a bit of a... What's this? Looks like little honey pumpkin. What's that? It's a type of wheat that grows in forested areas. The vines grow so fast that you can never get rid of it by hand. You must find the nucleus somewhere to get rid of it. And I guess we can also get rid of this if we find the nucleus. Or just return to the train quietly. That can't happen. Let's go look for the nucleus. It must be nearby. Since the nucleus gives off light when you touch the vine, you'll be able to find it. So if I touch it, I can find the nucleus and I can remove it. Which then, oh, it's cute! Great, it's time to explore. Please don't use that word, explore. That word gives me anxiety. No thanks to your mother. Sprint for... Space is sprint. Fair enough. Ooh. Ooh. 
and uh, pull. Not whatever it is, it's mine now. We need these, but the shiny tree is at the peak of the mountain, so go quickly if you want to see. We must return to the train by tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah. It's only 10 o'clock, dude. What's in there? Oh, what is that? I'm pressing Z so many times. It's pretty. Usually I would spend more time, but like... A mountain! That's a bad thing, right? I always hated mountains. My leather gets worn out from all the wind. Hmm. Oh, maybe it needed like a bug catcher or something like that. We can't catch them because we don't have that. Yeah. Ooh! brought up something that I didn't mean to bring up, but that was pretty cool. Mm. Oh, and you can collect stuff from the walls, too. This is, this is a rather cute sort of... I like it so far. Ooh, so... Ah, oh, but it's like inside, so I would need to like go into like like small spots. You can temporarily get rid of vines if we terminate a potion, but they'll grow back after a while. Then what do I do? Find the core, it should be somewhere near the vines. So we would need the potion for that one. It's very pretty, it's very, very pretty game actually. What is that? Why are there so many things blocking the path? This must be a forest with many secrets. What's this? Looks like a barrier made with a witch pattern. Witch pattern? Is there a witch here? There was, or... Do you know how it works? School hammered into my head. Shouldn't be an issue as long as it's drawn well. Wow, it's the gigantic shining tree! The same one we saw from the train. This is a bitter grape tea tree. I don't think the tree is the one that's shining. Check this out, Virgil. There are a ton of butterflies on it. You're right. The butterflies seem to be glowing. These are blue moon butterflies. The butterflies give off a subtle moonlight. The light from these butterflies has the same power as actual moonlight. That's why strange things always happen around these butterflies. Aren't they beautiful? A giant tea tree with butterflies glowing with moonlight. It's not just beautiful, it's an extremely fascinating sight to behold. Isn't this a pretty magnificent discovery? Did you know that those two are rare creatures? What? So what about it? The fact that those two are together is amazing. What about those two being together? They're usually raised together artificially to get moonflower in Lucernin or two. It's uncommon for them to be together naturally like this. Um, anyway, we did find something, right? I guess so. I'll have to write a letter to the school later. Let's look around a bit more. Fill up the codex and all, right? Just don't be late. We must return to the train by tomorrow morning. Okay. Let's go back the way we came up. There might be other strange things. It's pretty. It's so pretty. It's very cute, very pretty game, I think. I don't think I'll get a wink of sleep on the train. 
wonder if there's anywhere I can sleep for tonight. What about the ground? The dirt and rocks should make for a nice bed. That's not funny, Virgil. Look, the blue moon butterfly we saw at the peak is here too. You might as well collect some for study purposes. How? You think I could just sneak up and grab it? Wait, do you remember what Mr. Gravier said? Death lives under the bed? No, not that. Draw it before you touch it. That's right. Oh. Present hold the use quill button to draw. Once the gauge is full and the drawing is complete, the subject of the drawing will be... Oh, okay. Approach it and use the quill to draw it in the encyclopedia. Let's see. Oh, that's cute. And then... Oh! Ooh. Habit, cat, and time of appearance. So forest and mountain areas and at night time. We need a, a butterfly net to catch it. Or a bug net. Or what do you think? Oh, I'm catching it easier. Oh, nice. Great. It's registered in the catalogue. Let's see. Oh, she's got glasses now. She's so cute. Now, do you see why you can't catch any right now? Yes, I need... Cool. Hmm. So you can collect them using a butterfly net. I don't have one right now. Not much you can do now, then. But I want to do it right now. Getting to the witch's house in Hylion is more important. Oh. Let's go back down now. There's got to be something else that's fun. Do I have anything else? Oh, I just got... It's a bush bug. Eww, I've learned so much about it. Oh, and you can draw plants with the quill as well. And so I would have to go up to this spot here. Am I not in the right spot or whatever? What's up here? Oh, this thing I can do. Oh, I don't have the right tool. Mm. What's up here? Ooh, pretty. What's this? Go back to the train. Look at that, Virgil! A shiny white cat! I've never seen anything like that before. Ellie, we have to... Let's go after that creature! So, my guess is you're probably not gonna go back to the... train in time. Ooh, what's this? Ooh! 
sun. I think the cat dropped something and left. What's this? Looks like a witch chalk. That thing you use to draw things like a pattern. It looks a little different from the one we were using at school. It's just a different packaging. So, now can I... This witch pattern seems to have been erased a bit. It won't work if it gets erased like this. You can draw the pattern again using the same coloured witch chalk. Since I have the one I just picked up earlier, let's try it again with that. Should I draw with the witch pattern again using one which is white chalk? Yes! Alright, I drew the witch pattern again. Now I do the investigation. And now we're after that cat. Huh? Where did the cat go? Look, Virgil, there's a house. That's a witch's house, isn't it? It looks pretty old. I guess we can talk to the master witch here and stay here for a while. It doesn't look like there are people inside. If there's no one, I might stay for a while. Isn't it natural for an apprentice witch to be at a witch's house? That's true, but... Anyone there? Is anybody there? Seems like nobody is here. It could be an abandoned witch's house. Because the witch administration can't figure out everything, all right, let's go inside. Oh, it really is an abandoned witch's house. Taking that into consideration, it looks okay. Although, it's not that clean. Since the witch's house is managed on her own, it doesn't seem to be in a, good, a very good condition considering how dirty it is. But the bed looks fine. I guess I can just sleep here. Um, well, since the witch's house is a public institution, it's okay to sleep one night or so. And it's better than sleeping outside. Hmm. Oh, this is a cute loading screen as well. Um, what's with that face? You slept on a nice fluffy bed. Yes, but... I dreamt that I was sleeping on the train. All that effort not to sleep on the train, only to dream of just that. You should have just slept on the train. No, that's not it. I slept very well, actually. I can always hear the sound of the train, though. Wait, isn't that actually the sound of the train? What? Really? Is it taking off already? Let's hurry. It really is the sound of the train. I think it's about to take off. Let's hurry back. I woke up just in time. Glad I didn't sleep in. Well, it's the bet that it's already on its way. And the sounds are just... Oh, bunnies! Wait for me! I have things to... No, oh, yep. <laughs> huh? Where's the train? Haha, <laughs> looks like that bird was imitating train sounds. But where's the train? It probably went to Hylion. Then what do we do now? Shut up, bird. Let's look around the area. I'm sure we'll find some clues. Why are you so calm? I've been through much worse with your mum. Alright, we get it. You can shut up now. <laughs> Thank you. What is that thing? It's called the Gaga bird. They say it's a bit insane. Quiet, I don't want to hear it. It's your fault for oversleeping. Don't blame the Gaga bird. Fine, whatever. Just be quiet. A letter. How nice of them to leave a letter behind. 
Let's see. I think it's from the bartender on the train. You're probably shocked to see that the train is gone. A witch suddenly appeared in the middle of the night and got rid of the prickly vines. They said they can't wait because the train was already delayed, so we had to leave. But don't worry, the train will come back and there's a village nearby where I used to live. You can just spend some time there. There should be a sign in the forest, so take a look and go find the village. When you arrive at the village, please send Enite and Arden my regards. Bartender. He said there's a village, Virgil. Are you even a little upset that we missed the train, Ellie? There's a village nearby. But I can't imagine where it would be. We explored the area quite a lot yesterday. It was probably too dark to see. Let's look for it again. See if there is a sign as well. How about cleaning the witch's house? We might have to stay there until we find the village. Okay. Please try not to sound so excited we missed the train, remember? Right. You heard me, right? Well then, I might as well add more to the encyclopedia now. So, we've, we've been abandoned, is what you're telling me. Alright, so... Uh, clean the witch's house, where a prolonged stay seems inevitable. Mention that there is a village nearby. Look for a sign to find, and then use the quill to look for more in the catalog. Hey, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So easy. Where are the bunnies? I can literally pick them up right now. Hello, my friends. Squishy chub. A squishy chub. Burrows and lives underground in groups of two to four. As curious creatures, they approach people, cursing, chewing, and squeezing. Oh! Can I? And I got this plant that rings like bells. Silver star bell. Hi! <laughs> sound of it. That's so cute. This silver bell shaped flower also produces a mellow sound like that of a bell that echoes of the flower. The echoes of the flower invokes a melancholy feeling from within. The buds bloom only at night when there is light. The pollen that bursts from the bud as it flowers can be collected. Hey yo, goodbye. There's a sign up here. There was also, hang on, there was an area I just saw. It. Making my way downtown. What's this? Draw that as well, and then I would have completed that. I'm just too good. That's the witch flower, which is often used as well when making things, hence the name witch flower. Grab its stem and give it a slight to pull it from the ground. Easily peasily. What's this? Oh, oh, but it's on the other side. What? Sweet and rude. Says S. Oh, so I can see what's in my inventory using that. Fair enough. Ooh. This I didn't look at this last night. Ooh, pretty. It's a well. It's a very nice looking well. A lot of like stuff over this way, so I'm feeling like. No, oh, I already got information about you. And there's some more of the, the bubbles over here. Mm. Oh, here's a sign. Oh, so over, over to the right is the 
village except the, la the town lies to the east of here. I guess people do live around here. All right, let's head east. But it seems to be blocked by something over there. That's true. It's a little honey pumpkin. Let's go take a look first. Mm, and then the nucleus is over on the wrong side. I think this is the way to the village, but the little honey pumpkin is in the way. Let's go to the witch's house and find a way. And also clean up. Oh. Fair enough. Alright. So we'll go up here. Hi, guys. You're so cute. So, the witch's house is over here. Let's get rid of the weed first. There's too much. It would take forever to pull this out using hands. Take a look at the bin over there. It might have a potion to get rid of weed. The bin? This one? There's nothing here. Then we'll have to use another tool. Is there another tool? Yes, there is a wonderful tool. What's that? Your hands. Ugh. Bit by bit. I'm actually really enjoying this game so far. It's very, um... I don't know if it's something I would record a lot, unless you guys really liked it. But it's something that I would probably like to play in my free time. Just one of those, like, nice calming games that sort of just... Speak to me. Oh, my stamina bar is going down. I see that. I'm just about done. Seven. Is there any more? I'm taking it up here maybe later. Um, I have to clean up all the oh, no. Alright, I think I got rid of all of them, right? It's nice to see that it's clean. Now it's time to tidy up the house. Right. Look, Ellie, it's a quest mark. All I see is dust and cobwebs that we have to clean up. Exactly. Let's find something useful while cleaning. Oh, it's a notebook. Might be useful later. Don't get distracted while you're cleaning. It's a witch bookshelf. Technically, it's a bookshelf that the witch was using. That's same as a witch bookshelf. I'm not going to read a book though. I'm tired of books. A poisonous mushroom is better than a witch who doesn't read books. What does that mean? Because a poisonous mushroom kills just one person. Stop nagging. I read enough books at school. Hmm. Witch history. The Twelve Plants. Fun Book of Plants. Gardening for Witches. There are so many books on plants. I guess a witch who used to research plants was living here. I should store any books I get in here. She really messed up the house. It reminds me of your room. My room is cleaner than this. That might be so from a dust standpoint. I wonder where the witch is, the one who lived here. This place is probably very old. She must be eating and living well somewhere in Lucerine or two. All done cleaning. It's also messy in front of the desk over there, Ellie. Stop bossing me around like a teacher. I finally managed to get out of school. There's some dust over there, Ellie. Don't leave food behind, Ellie. I told you not to go inside the principal's office, Ellie. You should have listened. Oh, this is a witch elevator. That's why you have to listen to the teachers. 
Let's hurry up and go down. What if there's a scary monster? You think so? Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's more cleaning though. Wow, look at this Virgil. This must be the dispensary. You can probably make potions with the proper tools. We should definitely do some cleaning. <laughs> wow, cleaning again. I am going to end this episode here. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And again, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. This is not my like regular sort of game, but if you want to see more of this, please let me know because I am willing to play more of this. Um, make sure to check out some of the other videos on my channel if you're interested. Um, interact with me down in the comments below. If it's a comment I can reply to, I will reply to it. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.